Hey everybody, welcome back to Minor Stuff. I'm Matt. I'm Pat. We're, we're the Minor Brothers. Brothers. Today we're going to talk about aging your own bourbon. Let's get into it. All right, welcome back everybody. Uh, thanks for stopping by, checking us out. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, like this video, uh, and let us know how you feel about it down in the comments as well. Matt, I'm excited for this uh, experiment, we'll call it. Yeah, so, you know, there's a great thing that you can do with bourbon, right? We've all been getting these gimmicks and all these other things that are going on, but you know what? You can do some of the stuff right at home. So what we did is we've got actually a whole bunch of these different barrels, right? And mm -hmm. this is one of our smaller ones. Um, on this actual barrel right here, we ended up uh, filling it with honey. Right? Then we dumped out the honey and now we are finishing it with blands. So we have a bunch we, of blands in there. We already did Eagle Rare with it and it came out amazing. Yeah. So uh, this is going to be honey finished blands, uh, which is awesome. And then we got a really, really big barrel uh, that's way down at the end there. Um, and this one is benchmark foolproof. And what we did is we took um, about 30 bottles, put into the, the big barrel. And now we're aging it. Now this is the original, and this is the new one. You can see how much darker that is. Yeah, that's right. You, know, you probably can't see it on the camera, but there's a huge difference in, in, in darkness, right? Mm -hmm. Now the proof, we'll put the proof up here. The proof actually didn't go up much on this one. So my last one that we ended up doing this to ended up going to 146, right? So it was definite hazmat. It was like, we had a ton of loss. This one, we didn't get a ton of loss. I, I put it outside some days. And let the you know let the heat really pull the, the stuff into the barrel and then come out and we'd have a ton of stuff drop out on the ground basically from going through the barrel. That's what gives you your flavor, Pat. So, no, first you gotta sip the other one. I already know this because I did this the other day. When you're super young. This yeah. is not a great thing to drink. However, now see what happens after we've aged it. Much darker flavors, right? It like oh my god, right? It's incredible. Damn. We literally took something that people would drink and just be like, eh. And this is the same thing that this is the same exact mash bill. That as, is unreal. Isn't it incredible? This is the same exact mash bill that uh, Stag is, right? And you know, you're basically this is two years. Mm. You go to that seven to nine years, you're doing you know your regular Stags. You're going up to that 15-year mark. You're going to that George T. Stag. It's delicious. You're going to pound the shit out of this stuff, aren't you? <laughs> it was freaking good. Um, and what you can do is by getting the alcohol to really pull into the staves and then come back out with the with the temperature changes, you add so much more flavors to these bourbons. It actually drinks easier than the full, the original full proof. Yeah, and it's a hundred. So we only went up like what three proof points. We're right at that hundred and twenty eight mark, maybe one twenty eight point five. So much easier going down. And and so it's a little bit higher, but yeah, it's it's smooth. That that youngness kicked right out of it. Oh yeah, it's super smooth. The cherry wow. notes that are coming through on this thing are just wow. And and wow, that isn't it is incredible, right? Wow. Um. So this is the cool thing, though, is it, you can do this Dude. with basically anything that you have, right? Anything you have, you can end up finishing it. You want to do a honey finish? You want to do? You can do hot honey. You can do basically anything your your you think desires. Of. Yeah. So I like redhead oak barrels. I'll leave their thing down below. That's what we end up buying from. Um, I think he's got really great barrel, qual you know, quality. Uh, something to get with it is barrel wax, just in case you get one that's really leaking too much. You can already have the wax just to put on the outside of the barrel, help to seal it up. Um, but yeah, this I think wow. is the biggest game changer in bourbon. Oh my god! Because you can just you can do little ones like we have a little one right up there. That one's got Weller in it, and I'll tell you, it's ten times better. That was the Weller uh, Special Reserve. Yep. Way better now, and it's it's only like I want to say it's 112 proof, so it's not even like super super high proof, but it's just the the deepness and the flavors comes out so much more. That is unreal. Um, that is we so, got. I would never believe that's freaking benchmark full proof, right? Man. And just Holy wait, I'm doing. Smokes. We're still gonna do uh, two more months is what I'm going for in that barrel before we end up pulling it out um, and bottling it. We got special stuff happening, you know, whatever. 
um, mm. with the bottles, and it's just going to be great. Like our Patreons are going to get some some other samples and stuff of what this is now versus what it's going to be, hopefully. Um, but yeah, this stuff is incredible. If you want to change your bourbon at your own house, you can even start with, like I said, start with one of these little small ones. They're great. It's a one liter one, so you're gonna, you know, get one of these and a little, you know, a little bit more of another. Or I would just recommend going with some of these bigger ones and just because you're gonna want them. Like you're gonna want to keep all of them. Like we tasted that Blanton's uh, honey finish yesterday. Mm. I had some people over and they were just like, oh, and I was like, oh my goodness, this is incredible. You know what? I don't want to get rid of these. Like I might keep, I have to keep all of them to myself. That's how good they are. And this stuff, as you can tell, is freaking delicious. Oh my god, that um, is next level. But yeah, so I recommend if you guys really are into bourbon, you really want to try to get new flavors out of stuff, buy some stuff, age it to be even longer, find out what other flavors you can get from it. Just do a small barrel and just do this benchmark foolproof because this is going to blow your freaking mind. Right. I am like just in awe right now. I didn't. I haven't tried this at all. This is obviously my first time. I didn't even tell him we were it. doing this video no. today. This was a total Nothing. surprise. Like, yeah. just boom. He's like, what is this? And I'm like, this is what I've been doing. So. Oh my God, that is so unreal. Real. Um, yeah. Anyways, needless to say, if you're interested in more of this type of stuff, follow us over on our Patreon page uh, where we have a lot of great stuff for our Patreon members. Um, but other than that, I recommend anybody who's into bourbon, buy a barrel. Buy a couple bottles, cheap bottles usually, and play around and age with it. Sometimes you're going to overage them. You have to throw them away. It is what it is. Sometimes like this, they come out just freaking perfect, and they're amazing. So it is definitely the oh. game changer of bourbon, I think, going forward. Unreal. Anyways, we guys hope you like this. watering so much right now, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Good stuff. Uh, we hope you guys like this video. Obviously, uh, hit that subscribe button. Follow us along for more great bourbon stuff.